In this demonstration, I'm going to discuss moderated registration and some of the things you need to know as you set up the plugin to approve registrations. So the first thing is in the main options tab down here by other settings you'll see this setting here moderate registration. When you enable this it's going to hold new registrations to be approved by an admin. So it's also recommended that you go ahead and check off the notify admin of new registrations so that uh, you know when you've got someone pending approval. So we'll go ahead and update our settings. And in since we haven't changed anything from the default setup, we get a message here that says we've got active settings that are not recommended, and that's specifically this, that our message for a completed registration is still the default and that particular message is not going to make any sense in light of the fact that a user has to be approved because this is what that message says. Your registration was successful. You may now log in using the password that was emailed to you. Well that's not really the case because they're going to be pending approval. So we're going to change the message to something that is a little more appropriate. Okay, and we'll save our settings. And you'll notice the message went away now. And we're all set on the back end to be handling moderated registration. So let's go ahead and run through a test registration so you can see what how this works. So we'll just create a dummy account here. And I'm going to use the same email address for both uh, the user and my no admin notifications are coming to the same email address, so it'll just keep things simple. So we'll register, and here it says we've successfully registered, and we're pending approval. So if we go over to our email, we're going to see two emails here. First, let me just talk about, this is the welcome email. This is the initial, this is the default message that comes to a user when moderated registration is enabled. And the default content says this very basic information. Your registration has been received, it's pending approval, you'll get login instructions when you're approved. If you would like to change that, let's go back over to the plugin admin. You can go to the emails and the very first one here registration is moderated, that's this message here. So You can change that content if you'd like. And just below it, this is the message that's going to go out when they're approved, and we'll see that in just a moment. And since we're here, let's just point out, here's the admin notification. And the default admin notification email, regardless of whether you're using moderated registration or not, has this little short code in it, activate user, and that provides a link directly to the user profile where you can activate the user just to make it easy to go right to that user. You don't have to use that if you're not using moderated registration. Since that's the topic of this video, this does kind of make sense to keep it in there. So let's go back to the email and look at we're done with that one. Here's the admin notification message that came. It says we've got someone pending and here's the link through to activate that user. So if we click that link it goes right to the profile for the user that just registered. And if we go to the bottom of that profile where the WP members fields are, and we're not using these fields so there's nothing populated there, uh, you'll see this activate this user checkbox. We check that, update, and the user's activated. Now when we activated them, we're done with this message, when we activated them, this message came. And it says, your account is approved and here's your login credentials. So we can go back to the site and log in as our test user. And we're all set. 
And that's the basic setup for moder moderated registration. So now let's talk about one little twist on the moderated registration concept. In the plugins fields, there is the option to allow users to set a password when they register. The normal configuration or the default configuration of the plugin is to send the user a randomly generated password when they register. Once they log in, they can go to their profile and they can change that password to something that they would like it to be. Um, but some people like to give the user that ability to create a password when they register and there there is a default field that that is set up for that so you can use that we're gonna just for the sake of demonstration leave out the confirm password um, if you do use a password field it, it's recommended to go ahead and use the confirm password as well just so people have a, a double check there and the registration validation will will make sure those match but just for the sake of, of demonstration we're just going to use just the password so we'll update fields so that our registration form now includes that and I want to show you what happens when we register a user just by enabling the password using moderated registration but not changing anything else so here's our test user and we'll create a password and we'll register and you'll see our registration is fine uh, our account is now pending approval we go over to our emails and we have our admin notification email everything's fine there and our welcome message to the user thank you for registering everything's fine there okay so we'll delete that we're going to go click through and just like before we're going to activate the user and now the approval email goes out uh-oh look at this where's the password okay there's one thing if you set it up this way there's one thing you need to change and there's one thing you need to know WordPress hashes passwords and this is a security measure so that we don't store plain text passwords in the database just in case the database is hacked we don't want people's plain text passwords floating around so that's a WordPress feature as soon as the password is saved in the database it is hashed that's part of the process so the only time the password is available in plain text is when it's created so there's a little something you have to know about when passwords are created in this process in the standard configuration of the plugin the password is created when the user is approved so when the admin goes through and clicks activate and approves the user the password is created it's hashed and saved in the database and we have it plain text at that point so we can stick it in that email and send it to the user when you allow the user to set their password at registration that's the only time the password is available in plain text just at that moment once we go to approve the user the password has already been hashed and stored in the database so we don't have a plain text password to send so if you're going to send the password in that type of configuration you need to do it in the initial email and not in the email that goes when they're approved hopefully that if you're still with me hopefully that makes sense to everyone um, keep in mind if they're creating their login credentials at registration it's really not a requirement for you to send it to them and in fact some people might think that is a bit of a security issue depends on your site depends on your user base you know the the plugin doesn't force you into one specific construct it lets you make those type of decisions but if you're gonna send the the login credentials to the user 
when registration is moderated and the user is choosing a password at registration, you need to send that information in the initial email. So just by way of example, we can just copy, we can just take this out of um, the moderated approved message and we're going to put that into our initial email. So let's go ahead and save our emails and show you what that process looks like. So we're all set. We're all set to run through a test. We'll go back. Go ahead and run through a test. So our registration was successful. Let's look at our emails. Thank you for registering. That's the welcome email. Look, there's our, our credentials. Now, if we were to go use those, look, we get the login failed message because the user's not approved yet. So we want to indicate in that, that message that registration is pending approval. You won't be able to log in until, until that's approved. So we can click through and we could approve the user. Now one quick thing I want to also point out is you can approve the user the way we've been doing here by clicking through to the user's profile. However, if you have a lot of users to approve all at once, sometimes it's easier just to do it in bulk. So if you go to the users, all users screen, you get a couple of ways you can do it. You can do an individual user with the hover menu. You get this activate link. Or you can, if you have several users to activate all at once, you can check them all off and do it in the bulk actions, both at the bottom and the top. And if you activate them that way, same process, tells you one user was activated, and there's our welcome message. So those are two ways that you can configure the plugin for moderated registration.